Hello, I'm Claudius Q from Colorway Arts. Now I'm gonna show you another tip to have great finishing for our projects. And uh, I will be covering a piece of paper with fabric, okay? And I'll show you how to have great and neat corners and everything. So let's go. Before I started, I just go under the water a little bit and then I uh, dry with paper towel. So it's really, it's not very dry, okay, but it's not wet as well. It's just a little wet. That help us to spread the glue to get started. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in my tray. I always do like that in the beginning. And then I roll my roller like that. just to get started and to have my the surface of my roller full of glue. I have here my piece of cereal box and then I will apply glue over it and uh, I don't, don't use the printed part, I use the other one. So spread with your roller like this to make sure you have a thin layer of glue all over your paper like this. So don't have, let me show you, don't have like spots with a lot of glue like this. That's wrong. Spread very well till you have to make sure you are all over and then put it in the, in your piece of fabric. Okay. Like this. This piece, this scrap of uh, fabric it was is small already, so I didn't cut. But if you have a big piece, then before gluing, before gluing, okay, you can cut like a little bit more than half an inch bigger all around. Okay, so you can do that before applying the glue. I didn't do it just because it was a small piece. Let me show you here. So I have one piece of fabric and then I can cut like this. Here another thing, you can use the roller and cut the fabric if you prefer or just go and cut with your hand like this. Feel free, free your mind, you know, just have fun. You don't need to cut really straight the fabric, no, because we're gonna um, cover this and we, this part, the edges of the fabric are gonna be hidden, so don't worry, okay? Have fun. You can cut with scissor, you can cut just freehand, you can use the roller, do the way you prefer, okay? So I do that, and then I do the same thing I did for the, the other one. Spread the glue very well, and then glue right there in the center. Then you're gonna flip over and go with your hands in from the center to the edges, making sure it is well glued. Okay, good. So now we have we have to fold this fabric over. Okay, but when I do that, I have too much fabric here in the corner, and this fabric is gonna without this fabric I will not have a good finishing. So that's why we can use our corner miter tool, okay? Uh, it is even better for the chipboard, okay? It's more appropriate, but we always use, I always use to the thin chipboard as well, okay? So if you, let me show you here, you put your corner miter tool over there, right on the corner, and you go with your cutter and cut like this. If you don't have a cutter, you can mark a line with pen and then cut with scissor. If you don't have this, okay, another thing we can do is use scissor, okay? 
But what you have to keep in mind that you can't cut straight right there in the corner. You can't cut straight with the paper. You have to have one space here, right there in this corner, that is the same uh, thickness of the chipboard. That's the best thing to have, okay? And here, if you don't have, you can also go and cut with scissors. It's not, we will not have always the same. It will not be standard, but you can do. If you don't have the corner mitre tool, don't, don't worry. At this moment, just go ahead and do like that, okay? The best way here to cut is to have 45 degrees, to have this 45 degrees angle here. Okay, so that's why both things, the corner mitre tool, tool helps us. First, I have the exact space I need to fold the fabric and have a good finishing, and I have 45 degrees here. Okay, if you, as I said, if you don't have at this moment, go ahead and do with your scissor just to practice in case you decide to do a lot of boxes in cases in the future then you can buy this corner miter tool and we'll see how easy it is okay but for now i'm showing you that you can do this way okay and then do that Good. So now I have to fold this fabric over. So we're gonna start with the long edge. I say the long edge here. Spread the glue. Go with your brush and spread out long edge. And here's something really important. We have to spread the glue also right there in that corners in that fabric that you leave in this corner. So after that, put your uh, plastic spatula under and bring like this. Good. Then another important thing, you have to press down here in this corner where you apply the glue, where you have this fabric, press down. Okay? I like to use my plastic spatula in this position, like flat, and then I press there. You can have your way. You know, I have students that do different. The thing you have to do is to press down on that corner. So here and here again, don't forget to apply glue. And then bring and press and press. Okay, so now I have to fold the other two edges and I spread the glue just over the paper. And then I go in this part and in that part over the fabric so I will have better finishing and then I will bring my paper and then I like to go with look to the front okay and see how it is my corners okay and they are very good so now I have one more So I have here one piece covered and I will do one more here just to show you. So avoid uh, putting your fabric over the wet paper. Remember apply glue to both corners. Okay, press down. Okay, so now we have 
both pieces um, covered with fabric, okay, and with good corners. Okay, we can see we have great corners for all for both pieces. And what I have to do is glue one with another one to have my bookmark. Okay, but I want to show you before that, I want to show you in case you want to apply tassel, that's the time to do it. So, for example, so I have here my tassel. Then what we can do, we can, like, look, here is the front. So, apply a little bit of glue there. Oh. Spread and then glue your tassel like that. You can measure or you can eyeball and see where is the place. And then that's one thing you can have. Okay, and I'll do that right now. I will keep it here. For the ribbon, if you want to apply ribbon like I did here, I will show you later because I need to the bookmark. Uh, the bookmark uh, should be dry, like this one. Okay, so just glue, just do the next step. So once I put the tassel there, I will apply glue to over the small piece that is my back, like this, okay? And spread with a brush. I like to go, I put too much glue, okay? But go out like this, from the center to the edges, making sure you have glue all over this piece. If you have too much, so just take away a little bit okay so here i have my piece of cloth to clean my hands okay the way i told you and just go there and now you're gonna you can eyeball just that it's best way press with i like to press with my piece of cloth okay and something really important now we have to to put some pieces of masking tape all around so like this okay so flip over I, that's something that I like to do when I apply the masking tape. I always go with the cloth and press very well over to make sure it will be very well glued. So here is my bookmark. Already finished. What I have to do now is put something heavy over. So for example, if you have a piece like that, just put it like that and keep about, this is a small piece, so about two, three hours is that okay. If you have a piece that is bigger, I would say five, six hours or keep it overnight and you're gonna have better results. You can also put a heavy book over, you know, something heavy to allow this piece to dry flat, okay? So after this period, like after, this three four hours for a piece small like that you can take off the masking tape and your bookmark will be ready to use isn't it great reusing a simple material you know like cereal box scraps of fabric and i have something unique that you can give as a gift or you can use for our books for our kids okay now if you want to apply ribbon then uh, instead of tassel, what I would do, the way I did here for those, mine, okay, you could have cut some pieces before, okay, and then like three or four pieces and glue between both layers like we did for the tassel. But what I'm gonna show you now is a little bit different. So I have here I have, let me see, uh, 14 inches. So I have two pieces with 14 inches of ribbon. 
then you can make one hole. And to make holes, you can use like a hole punch like this, or you can use paper awls like that, or you can even use scissor, a drill or something to make one hole there. Okay, so let me use this just to show you. So this is one tool that we can use for scrapbook, for other things. Just make one hole. You can like measure, you know, I know you can measure with a ruler. Sometimes I'm more like eyeball things, but if you want to be really sure, you can pick the ruler and just measure that. And then, I did like this. So I pick both uh, in the center and I put right here and with a scissor or something, we put both, pass both ribbons through this hole. We can do that, okay. So now I have my both parts here and I just pass so I have this circle, I just pass this part over here and pull very well. Okay, and then I can cut this in the dimension I want. So here I have my bookmark ready to use. Another thing we can do just to prevent here is do like that with fire. So just to make sure we're gonna be uh, with this ribbon very well finished. We will have a lot of options. You can do like different colors. You can do uh, the same material, like my son loves Star Wars, so I did this one for him. And another option, you can also glue elastic here between two pieces, you know, so it's another way you can use for bookmark, okay, and place in the right position in your book so so many options you can just use your creativity and uh, i hope you like it <laughs>